Michael Freno victory here on the final day of the season, just your reflections on the match overall. Yeah, we changed things up a little bit tactically, playing Rabi and, and Fashion a little bit wide and, and Todd playing almost as a as a loose or a false nine and it worked on the goals of Fashion, great pass from Ridvan. It's the strangest carpool in the world, Ridvan Yilmaz and Fashion Sakala and obviously they're bringing that friendship onto the pitch which I was delighted with and second goal, Fashion threatened to do that earlier in the first half and Rabi with their dribbling. So I was delighted. Nice to get a goal off set plays because we'd improved in that area as well. And it was nice for Tony, who's had a, a tough six months with injury to uh, to score the last goal of the season. Yeah, two goals for Fash. I believe that's 20 goal contributions for the season, which again underlines his, his effectiveness in that forward line. Yeah, listen, he's a bubbly character and he'll, he'll keep going in there and getting where, you know, goals are scored. And, um, you know, we he, he scored a lot of goals. He's been very effective since I came back into the club. He's had a couple of misses as well that he want to improve on, but he keeps getting in there with the same enthusiasm. So well done to him. Yeah, and a third clean sheet in the post split fixtures as well, which, which again bodes, bodes well going into next season as well. Yeah, I think we're you know we're right up there on our clean sheets. That's 16 in the league this season. It's, um, it's something that I'm pleased with. Or the 16th clean sheet. Yeah, 16 clean sheet in the league. So well done to the boys for that. Robbie's obviously come in, and we've seen no change in in terms of. Uh, of him coming in as a young goalie, taking over from someone like Alan, who's, who's been an absolute stalwart for many a year and as fine a goalkeeper as this club's seen. And just want to mention him and, uh, and Scotty because we're losing a lot of experience with those two, a lot of standards. So I'm expecting one or two others to step up now. And that, that's a message to the group. You know, those two players have been there and seen it at this club, have played in the Premier League, and we're going to need one or two others to step up next year into those leadership roles. Yeah, we spoke in midweek about looking positively towards the next season. What would your message to supporters be looking ahead to the next campaign? Our league form since November has been very, very strong. Our points total has been strong. I think it's one of the higher points total we had. It, ultimately, it's not enough. Um, I think the optimism will come around the people that we recruit and how we start next season. It comes from us first and the fans will follow. We, uh, As again today, their support has been absolutely outstanding for these players. It's been unwavering and that's a big thank you for us to them as well.